Here's a simple video as to how to use our V1200 external voltage regulator. It's a 13 volt to 16 volt max set point potentiometer here. It's different than the ones you guys are used to that has the harness potentiometer. This is what we just call a simple set it and forget it screw dial type. I'll give you guys a little instruction pamphlet in every single one of the regulators, but if you need a little bit of video guidance, that's what this is for. You'll notice there's four tabs on the front, and here's your explanations, but we'll go through them anyways. So, starting with the first one here, F, that's your field, shown here on the side. Next one, be your ignition. Third is your battery connection. Fourth tab isn't used. This tab also is not used. So these last two, you can just take them out of your mind. Ground tab is where you're going to go ahead and connect the ground wire from my, our alternator harness. And light indicators. These are two amber lights. These two will turn on. Green light does not turn on. We've called the factory. They say that the green light doesn't turn on. If there's something wrong, then the light turns on. So for all sake and argument, the only lights you're going to see are the two amber lights. When you're looking at the regulator connections, we'll supply you with the wire harness with our external regulator. We'll label which wire is field and which one is ground to take, take the guessing game out of play. So you'll see that the field wire is going to the field terminal at the end. We have our ignition going from our test machine. We have our battery, we're connecting here to the positive post. And then our ground wire, we have grounding to the alternator for now, and then going to the ground terminal on the regulator. So when you go to turn on the alternator, fire up your vehicle, you're going to get two indicator lights on, green light doesn't turn on. So when you're looking at your voltmeter, go ahead and get the screw dial, screwdriver here, and all you're doing is just turning it. Turning it down. Up, down. That's all I'm doing is just moving that dial. So wherever you want to set your set point, that's basically it for this regulator. It's real simple. It's a, I call it a set it and forget it because it doesn't have the potentiometer wheel on it for you guys to go ahead and move it. You want it at a certain set point, 15.1, 14.8. It's a very simple hookup. And it shouldn't take you guys long to go ahead and set it up as well, but either way, you guys got any questions, I got an, extra, an instruction manual there and a phone number. You guys can always give us a call. Thank you.